Welcome back. Thursday, three star recruit Kwani Kwani committed to Cal over WSU and Nevada, leaving another scholarship open for Kyle Smith to fill. Even though Kwani is not coming to the Palouse to say the movement within the scholarship players on this team has been hectic, maybe an understatement. We're going to get into it now. Smith didn't get that Kwani commit, but he did get fellow three star recruit and Seattle native Noah Williams to commit on Tuesday. Noah is the son of Guy Williams, who was a standout player for the Cougs in the 80s. Uh, Noah is a 6'5 point guard who won the 3A state championship at O'Day High School. This season, he averaged 17 and a half points, 7.4 rebounds and 4.7 assists per game last or excuse me this season. Williams was originally committed to Buffalo, but decommitted after Buffalo's head coach left this offseason. So here's how WSU's incoming class is looking. Noah Williams, transfer point guard Isaac Bonton from Casper College. He played his first year of collegiate basketball at Montana State. Colorado State grad transfer forward Dion James and Australian point guard Ryan Rapp, who flipped from San Francisco, Kyle Smith's old program. Smith also holds on to Ernie Kent commit forward Darren Henson. WSU lost to Ernie Kent commit guard Ryan Murphy and center Nigel John. So let's keep track of this. Kyle Smith has five commits in this class, has lost two commits. So that's seven names. We're going to keep track of the amount of people who have filtered through this program in the last two months during this segment. Let's keep going with who is definitely staying. Jeff Pollard reaffirmed his commitment to the Cougs after briefly entering the transfer portal, saying he's too much of a Coug to be anywhere else. Pollard averaged 4.8 points per game last season. The other WSU players currently staying are Jave Robinson and Jazz Kunk. The, here are the ones currently in limbo. Marvin Cannon put his name into the transfer portal just a few days ago after he told the media at Kyle Smith's introductory press conference that he was committed to the Cougs. A report said that he is considering transferring to be closer to family. Meanwhile, Ahmad Ali and Isaiah Wade have been in the transfer portal for nearly two months. Here are the players definitely gone. Carter Skaggs, who announced he was headed to UNC Wilmington Wednesday, and Chance Moore, also confirmed his departure in a bit of a scathing post towards Kyle Smith that same night. Moore said he was forced out by Smith. He never played a minute for the Cougs as he transferred in last December. So let's check in on our name statistic. Three staying, three in the transfer portal, two definitely gone. That raises our total to 15 names. There is one more name left, and he is the most important of all. His name is CJ Ellaby. Ellaby currently testing the NBA waters after the freshman made an immediate impact at WSU last winter. This is video of him during his senior year of high school. He averaged nearly 15 points per game for the Cougs, seven rebounds and three assists. He is expected to return to school. However, he hasn't tested the transfer waters yet, and who's to say he won't do that as pretty much every other player on Ernie Kent's roster has. For right now, we're going to put him in the staying category. So there is your final list, 16 names. By the way, if the three players in the transfer portal come back, that means all but one of the 13 scholarships for WSU has been taken, although I highly doubt that happens. It's been a crazy few months down in Pullman, and it is probably not over yet.